I don't see any leaks yet, but I'm looking. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Sarah, and that's Alice. We love to adventure in the great outdoors, and we have seen a lot of beautiful places over the last few years. We have hiked, camped, and splashed in some truly amazing places. We don't know where all we will get to visit in the future, but we want to continue adventuring, and we've decided to take you along with us. Our next adventure is the one I am most excited about yet. Meet our truck camper. We just bought this amazing 2002 Lance 815. It's in pretty good condition for its age, but it still needs some improvements and renovations here and there in order to become our perfect adventure rig. Follow along to see where our adventures take us next. Hi friends, welcome back to another video. In this week's video, we are going to be working on installing the sink in the camper. The new sink has roughly the same footprint as the original sink in the camper. It is just significantly deeper, which is what I really was focused on. I am amazing at making a mess while I am doing the dishes. I am so good at it. So I wanted a deeper sink in order to hopefully contain most of the mess within the sink instead of just getting the water everywhere inside the camper and potentially causing some problems down the road. Even though the new sink is again roughly the same footprint as the original sink, it is slightly bigger so we are going to end up having to cut the countertops just a little bit. I am not wanting to replace the countertops so we're going to have to be really careful with cutting them in order to cut just enough but not too far and then end up with a gap and needing to get new expensive countertops for the camper. I have a new faucet as well. Actually, let me let me go get that to show you guys. Hold on one second. Okay. So here it is. Here is the new faucet. It comes up a lot higher than the previous faucets. They'll also increase the clearance underneath the sink from washing dishes and pots and pans in there. So I'm really excited to get this installed as well. I'm not 100% sure how far into this project we're be, gonna be able to get this weekend. Dad is gonna be coming over to help me with the cutting of the countertop. We're also going to end up pressure testing the water system before we actually install this sink to ensure that all of the water lines and then the water heater are not like cracked or bust or anything like that. So with all that said, let's go ahead and hop up onto the camper and start working on this project. All right, so here's what we're dealing with. We were able to loosen it down here to get this to turn. We're now just gonna cut this off, cut this to fit, and voila, drain. 
you guys look at it it is beautiful it is so much deeper than the old sink I am so excited to have this done <laughs> and the guts down here don't look too bad either and ta-da just like that the new sink and faucet are installed well, this ended up being one of the shorter videos on my channel at this point in time. This was definitely by far the longest project that we have completed. I bought the faucet and the sink back in mid-March and we installed the faucet at the end of April. So it took a month and a half to get all the way through it. There were several instances of us having the wrong parts then having to go back to the store to get the correct part. I also had to return the original sink I bought and buy a second sink, the one that we ended up installing. The original sink was very, very similar, just slightly different in the measurements and it didn't fit as a result. And by the time all that was said and done, just because of like my work schedule, it wouldn't be the next weekend or even the weekend after that that we would have the chance to revisit the project. So it just ended up taking a little bit longer than either one of us anticipated for sure. But in the end, I would say it's still definitely worth it. Plumbing, however, is definitely going to go on the list of things that I am not looking forward to do in any future builds. Not my cup of tea, shall we say. As always, a big thank you to my dad. This project would definitely not have been possible without him and his patience. Even when I was lacking in the patience, he had plenty to spare and I just so appreciate him for that and for all of his help. And if you are still here, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our adventures moving forward and to see the future videos. But until next time, bye for now. Be that fast.